tape. Before you attack me, the alien gear inside the waistband holster situates comfortably inside the waistband, just like this. It doesn't move very much, so it affords me a very good draw and reholstery. Greetings, folks. Two and proper here, bringing you value. You heard me right. Value, because you guys know me. I'm all about value with a capital V. And why should my holsters be any different? I brought you value guns, and now here's value holsters. So let's get on with it. Alien gear holsters. Oh my goodness. Folks, you know what? A lot of people poo-poo alien gear holsters because they're not made with the same build quality as their Raven concealment holsters, their G-code holsters, or their upper end Galco holsters or whatnot. But let them Okay, because you are the smart one for paying attention to this video. Value, okay? First of all, let's look at each of the holsters, and then I will get into why their value. Here we have the Alien Gear Outside the Waistband Holster. Just the basic iteration of Alien Gear's Outside the Waistband Holster and Alien Gear's Inside the Waistband Holster. And this is the latest iteration, the Cloak Tuck 3.0. First, let's get the Cloak Tuck 3.0. The materials are simple materials, inexpensive materials, but well done. Okay, this is sort of a rubbery uh, backing here by which you can attach your alien skin shell. It's, I think they call this alien skin. And it's a good tough polymer plastic. You can see that there are sort of fluorescent green spacers right here. And you can adjust the tension of your firearm with these Allen wrench type attachments. Uh, tighter or looser and each alien gear holster comes with a hardware kit as a matter of fact every one of them comes with a free hardware kit for adjusting the size of your spacers between your shell and your backing for uh, tension for whatever firearm that you're getting including the allen wrench fittings that fit each of the different size spacers as well as the allen wrench for free that's value, okay? That's a good value because a lot of holsters don't give you a free hardware kit with it. But there's more. Just be patient. The Cloak Tuck 3 holster is a comfortable inside the waistband holster option as well as low cost. It rides here inside your waistband. I think the most comfortable position here is your is your 4 o'clock position, right? Right here over your right pocket. That's what they call your 4 o'clock position. But it is a good draw. Good retention because it's held in by the Allen wrench screws here, which adjust your tension as well as the tension from your waistband and uh, how tight you have your belt. You should not have any trouble with your firearm coming out. It allows for a good index, easy draw, and for good reholstering. Just give it a little shove and you're back in. It even sounds good. Listen. Now that's tactical. But the back of the Cloak Tuck 3 holster is a soft kind of nylon type of material that actually feels pretty good against your skin. It's very, very comfortable and it fits very well. One other thing I'm going to tell you right now, thumbs up to Alien Gear because these clips are magnificent. They make putting this holster on very easy. I've got upper end holsters. I've got more expensive holsters as well, but the clips are very unforgiving on some of those holsters. And this is very forgiving and makes it really, really easy to, to install this in your waistband. Thumbs up because a lot of holsters, even your upper end ones and stuff like that, make it a construction project when it really doesn't need to be. So that's a good holster right here. It's a good value at $44. We'll get the price out of the way right now. This is just the average setup that they'll send you. This was like $45, I guess, $44, $45. Now, here's the outside the waistband holster. You wouldn't know it to look at me. I look like a regular guy just casually standing at the bus stop. But you don't know that I have alien gears outside, outside the waistband, waistband holster. holster. So this is a good holster. Uh, it's, it's held on by these leather straps right here. Right? But the retention is pretty good. Now, I happen to have a little bit looser spacers here, but I can still draw my pistol with these. It still stays there and I'm not worried about it coming out. Now, you can wear this holster as an outside the waistband holster open carry. 
but most people are gonna wear this holster with a shirt over it just like this. So if you look at me, no one's the wiser. I have a firearm right here underneath my shirt. Uh, it's well concealed. And uh, I do look like that guy at the bus stop. But everything about me is tactical. You wouldn't know it. Even my shoes are tactical. Don't kid yourself, folks. These are tactical, okay? I'm actually suburban tactical. But this is the Alien Gear outside the waistband holster. And it is a very good option for concealed carry on a budget. About $35. Which is basically the Alien Skin Shell uh, put on a leather backing, same Allen wrench type fittings. And you feed your belt through these rather simple, yet uh, very well working leather straps. They look a little Flintstones like compared to some of your upper end holsters and stuff like that. But that should be no deterrent because your belt slides through these very easily and it holds it well against your side. So no problem there. As a matter of fact, sometimes simple is better because these are more comfortable. They're not really taut polymer and they don't jab you. They don't, they're forgiving because they bend. So it makes it very comfortable to wear outside your waistband. And again, uh, the outside the waistband holster in this case is for the Smith & Wesson MP9 and this is for my Glock 19. But what if I told you, and here we go with the value thing, what if I told you that I could just take this shell here and put it on this backing and this shell and put it on this backing? Because if you look at it, the Allen wrench fittings are spaced exactly the same, identically. So you can take this shell and put it here and this shell and put it here. So for each of these guns, you have two holsters. That's four holsters, theoretically. That's a good value, don't you think? Wait, you still don't think it's a good value? All right, let's break out the big guns. How about if I decide I want to sell my Smith & Wesson M&P 9 and get a CZ P07 duty? I can take this shell right here, remove it, send it off to Alien Gear Holsters, and tell them, I'm getting a CZ P07 duty. Would you please send me a shell? Yes, they will. Thank you very much for free. Well, how about that? That's a good value because you can always use your holster for whatever gun you get. So if you're a one gun person, you don't have to keep buying holsters. Just have them replace it. Oh, wait a minute. That's not good enough for you? All right. Well, how about that if you get a new gun, for example, say you got a CZP07 duty and you're still going to keep these other two. Say you uh, want to get another shell for that. It's only 12 bucks. They'll send it to you. Just 12 bucks. You don't have to buy the whole new holster. 12 bucks and you've got the shell. How's that? I think that's pretty freaking awesome. What, you're still not satisfied? Okay. How about did you guys see Sandlot? If those of you who watch Sandlot will appreciate this. This company also presents a forever warranty. A forever warranty. Meaning, if anything goes wrong with the quality or workmanship of your holster that you did not cause, right? If you didn't break your holster doing something weird with it and something just went wrong with the build quality or something or it wore out, Alien Gear will replace it or get you a new holster for free. How's that for a forever warranty? That's outstanding. Now, how many other holster companies are doing that? I challenge you on that. How many other holsters are doing that? Not many. So when you look at the fact that you've got free swaps for life on the shells, so you can wear your holster with whichever gun you have, or you can exchange your shells for each backing if you've got it outside the waistband and inside the waistband holster. Now this, now that's not going to apply with revolvers, by the way, folks. Revolvers have a different fitting, so that does not apply to revolvers. But your semi-automatic pistols, you can swap them all you want. I can put, I can wear this inside the waistband. I can wear this outside the waistband. So you got that, the free hardware kit free shell trades for life and a forever warranty for the prices that I told you on these guns. Now that is an outstanding value. 
Now, are these holsters made as well as your Raven concealments, your Bravo concealments? No, you're not likely to see your tactical hipsters or the guys that have to have the latest and greatest equipment for I mean, whatever bragging rights they want, or if they're actually involved in something like a SWAT team or a military uh, project or whatnot. Um, no, they're not made like that. But they're made for your average Joe and Josephine to have a holster that they can use that works well, that does not cost a mint. And I think, folks, that is freaking valuable so i have to give alien gear holsters a massive thumbs up so anyway folks when i'm talking about value that's what i'm talking about i'm talking about alien gear holsters one of the best values for holsters and gun accessories that i have seen to date anyway folks like share and subscribe and thank you for watching i'm too improper my email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now that's too improper at gmail.com Right, and I will answer you, provided you are polite about what you have to say, and I've got the time. Folks, again, thank you for watching. God bless America, and keep on protecting your families and yourselves. It's your God-given right, and it's always the right thing to do.